menstruating should not be a taboo subject. I want people to understand fully that having your period is a natural bodily function and not something that we can control and therefore is something that we should not be ashamed of. Hi, my name is Grace Meng and on Capitol Hill, I'm often referred to as the period lady. I, I don't mind being called that and if that gets even a few people to ask me more about this issue, I'm fine with that. What comes with that uh, is the need to change the standard of how we think and the protocol of how these products are provided. We don't think twice about providing toilet paper, right? We don't think twice about providing hand soap or paper towels in a restroom. Even when we're talking about uh, flexible spending accounts for a working person, we allow them to use those special accounts to buy products like contact lenses and band-aids and crutches, but we don't allow them to buy menstrual hygiene products. So one of my goals is really to change the thinking that menstrual hygiene products are luxury items uh, and that they are a necessary part of, of living, uh, just like other things that we already assume are. When I was in Congress, I received a letter from a young student in Queens and she wrote about how these items, which are one of the top sought after items from homeless shelters, uh, but people were not able to obtain these items because of the restrictions on the grants that the shelters had. And so we dug into this issue and the more we learned about it, the more shocking it was and it still is. So we learned, for example, that uh, if you are visiting a homeless shelter and you need these products, that you were not able to get them. We learned that there are students, not just in underdeveloped countries around the world, but students right here in New York City and throughout this country that have to stay home every month when they receive these products because their family can't afford it. And we learned about people in our prison system who have to ration or are unable to uh, get these products free of charge. When I first began talking about tampons and tax policy, testifying in front of mostly male colleagues on the House Ways and Means Committee, in front of the New York City Council, uh, about how there is a significant population of individuals uh, who cannot afford menstrual hygiene products. There were a lot of people who thought and told me that I shouldn't be talking about these types of things in public. I feel that this could be an issue that people of both parties could get behind. Obviously, people in both parties menstruate and know people who get their periods. Uh, and so I will work with anyone to make sure that more people have access to these products. So we actually first wrote to the administration, uh, the Obama administration, about the issue of people who are incarcerated not having sufficient and free access to these products. Uh, it was towards the end of the Obama administration, so when the new administration came in, we were concerned because we weren't sure what their attitude would be. Uh, however, uh, soon into the new Trump administration, we did get word and we received correspondence that they would and they uh, agreed to change the regulations so that uh, incarcerated peoples would be able to get free access to these products.
However, there is still a long way to go. For example, even in my own workplace in Capitol Hill, these items are not freely accessible. So these items still cost money to buy in our Capitol Hill bathrooms. A lot of the times, these facilities aren't even stocked with the products. So even if you pay for it, you might not be able to get the products. These postcards come from all over the country. Thank you for introducing the Menstrual Equality for All Act. I'm long past the need for pads and tampons, but I certainly can relate to the shame, embarrassment, and discomfort of not having them when needed. You know how we all have code words for how you describe that time of the month, your friends here, your aunts here. <laughs> Most of us have you know, utilized those words before, which is basically a symbol of being embarrassed about it and feeling like you have to hide it. I think almost everyone can relate or remember a situation where you were uh, in a public space, in a public building, and you got your period and you didn't know what to do because either you didn't have money on you or you weren't in your drugstore. Um, and we just think that this is a natural part of our human bodies. This is not something that we can control. These are not products, luxury products that we choose to use for ourselves. And so as long as there are people who feel that they have to be in hiding or can't go to school or work uh, without accessing these products, uh, I will keep working on this issue.